Welcome to this new section of the course. In this section, our objective is to understand the very basics of Moodle. We will understand what Moodle is, exploring the software frameworks, content management systems, and learning management systems, and see Moodle's place in the universe. Moodle is a fantastic solution when applied to the correct requirement. Later in this section, you will evaluate if Moodle is the right solution for you, your institution, or organization. I will also explicitly tell you when Moodle might not be a correct solution. By doing so, this course will establish a correct expectation for you from this course and from Moodle. In another lesson in this section, I will introduce the different Moodle installations that I will use and demo in this course. I will show you how to access free demo installations where you can mess around to your heart's content without fear of any damage. Let's begin by taking a top-down view of Moodle. Even if you are well aware of Moodle, this lesson will give you a big picture perspective of Moodle's place in the learning ecosystem. At the very topmost level, Moodle is a software framework. What is a software framework? A software framework is an abstraction in which software providing generic functionality can be selectively changed by additional user written code and so providing application specific software. Now, the next level what type of a software framework is Moodle? Moodle is a special type of content management system also known as CMS. CMSs allow publishing, editing, and modifying content, organizing, deleting, as well as content maintenance from a central interface. This is a very generic definition of a CMS. Amongst a great many things that CMSs are used for, including blogging, news, shopping, and as we will see in this course, learning management also. So Moodle is a learning management system and it is a special type of CMS dealing specifically with learning content. Please remember that we are still talking in a very generic terms because today's LMSs far exceed just managing learning content. In this slide, you can see a more detailed view of what today's modern LMSs including Moodle are capable of bringing to the table. In short, LMSs will bring together all major aspects of teaching and learning together. These aspects include course design, learning content, communication and collaboration tools, and finally assessment and evaluation tools. Over and above all of these major areas, the latest trends in the edutech world are learning analytics, mobile learning, social learning. Moodle has started providing some support for these trends just like other major LMSs. But I would say these concepts are still in a nascent stage of evolution at this point of time. This slide might give you an impression that an LMS might include every single technical tool required to run an educational institution. And of course, this is very far from the truth. In the next slide, we will see what is not included. So what does an LMS typically not include? Student information systems, heavy duty analytical and reporting tools, document repositories, say for electronic library management, powerful course shopping software. These are all features that an LMS most typically will not support. However, any LMS worth its salt will provide some simple basic support and various plugs and interfaces where these other heavy duty tools can be connected. In this last slide, we will see where Moodle stands in the world of learning management systems. With close to 80 million registered users from 64,000 registered sites, Moodle is undoubtedly the most used popular LMS in the entire world. And it stands its ground on features and functionality, both amongst commercial off-the-shelf products such as Blackboard, Edmodo, and open source competitors such as Sakai. So, in this lesson, we have understood at a very high level what Moodle is, 
that it is a software framework and that it is a specialized learning management system. We have also seen it is the most popular LMS in the world. Now finally we come to the million dollar question. Is Moodle suitable for every LMS solution or is Moodle suitable for you? In the next lesson you will see when Moodle is a suitable solution and when it is not. In all cases it is important for you to still understand Moodle thoroughly as you will be able to benchmark against Moodle. So see you in the next lesson.